All right, this review is on this kilowatt easy meter. Now I have the P3, has an internal memory. So when I completely unplug all this, it will keep all my information in the kilowatt meter. They have a kilowatt meter out there that does not do that. This one does do that, which is really nice. I'll show you that here in the end. I've had this plugged into my freezer for like about 21 hours and 14 minutes. This works really nice just to see what kind of electricity you're using on a certain appliance. Like if you wanna plug your kid's game machine into this, or you wanna plug your freezer into this, or your refrigerator into this, you can see how much electricity you're using. Now it will show you, let me show you, that's how much time, that's 120 volts. It's showing you how much volts I'm pulling. So far since it's been plugged in, I've used 19 cents. Now if I go up and down, It'll show me, oh, it shows you how much an hour, but I'm not using enough electricity to even calculate per hour. It shows you per day I'm using 22 cents. Per week, I'm using $1.54. Per month, I'm using $6.60 on this freezer. And $80.41 a year. Now that's why I left this plugged in for close to a day. I think you get a, a better reading if you let this plugged in for like 12 to 24 hours. But it will show you the cost. That's that's the main reason I got this. Also shows you, or here, this is my rate. This is how much I pay per kilowatt hour. You'll have to figure that out on your electric bill. Around 18 cents per kilowatt hour. But you can put that into this machine. I can hold the set button in here and I can change that. That's how many kilowatts I've burned up, 1.09. And my lapse time again, 21 hours and 17 minutes. 71 watts I'm pulling, 70, 71 watts out of my freezer. 1.6 amps. This really works nice to see what kind of power I'm pulling. Now you could also plug this into something and kind of, and turn it off. Like if you have something that looks like the light is on all the time, like some of the, like the DVD players or maybe your microwave and not even use it. You could also calculate how much phantom power or vampire power or whatever you guys want to call it. It will show you how much phantom power you're using. All right, let me show you how it stores my kilowatt per hour in here. So if I just unplug this, which this is the freezer, so that probably matter too much. But now that's coming from my power source. Unplug that. Just make sure when you unplug this, try to hold on to the back of this. It's real easy when I'm plugged into a... Now, now it ain't gonna show you anything, but it's off. When I plug it, when I plug it back in, it will still have all my information in there. So let's plug this back in. There, now I'm back on. Still have how many volts I'm pulling from my outlet. Still gonna show the amount of time I had that freezer plugged in, that's how much I use. So it still has all my information. 18 cents per kilowatt hour, that's my rate. So I won't have to change that. It'll, I won't have to change that, I'll stay right there. 18 cents per is my rate for kilowatt per hour. If you wanna try something else and plug something else into this, you'll just hit this reset button, hold that in. And there, now we're back to zero. And the time is zero, but my kilowatt per hour stayed in there, 18 cents. Uh, one thing I like to say about this, if you do decide to get one of these, just make sure you do not go over 15 amps. You can't plug something into this that goes over 15 amps. Like if I would plug this into like my table saw in my garage, I think my table saw definitely pulls more than 15 amps because that could burn this up. Highly recommend this kilowatt meter. It's really interesting to see what kind of power I'm using in some of these appliances in my house.